channel happy halloween i was really unsure whether to do halloween on my channel this year because i always find halloween so intimidating i just scroll on instagram and people are doing these crazy looks and i'm just like girl I know we got no time to do the makeup for five freaking hours, you know what I'm saying? I literally just went to go watch the new Maleficent movie. Oh, it was so good. And I was watching the makeup and Angelina Jolie just looked so beautiful. And it was actually quite an easy makeup look. So I was like, perfect. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this makeup look inspired by Maleficent. But I do have to say that this makeup look can honestly suit so many different characters. You guys can be the Bride of Frankenstein. You guys can be a vampire. This is such an easy Halloween look. So if you're not too sure what you want to be for Halloween yet, I honestly think that this tutorial would really help you guys out. So if you guys want to see how creators look, Please keep watching. Okay guys, so let's get started. I literally just moisturized my skin and I just applied on some primer as well. I used the Hydro Grip Primer from Milk Makeup. Okay, so for foundation, I'm gonna go with the Jouer Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation in the shade Latte. I actually haven't used this foundation in ages. I literally digged it out of my drawers. I was like, oh my God, why have I not used this in so long? If I sound weird in this video, I'm actually really ill. My nose is all stuffy and my throat is killing me, but it's okay, we're gonna keep on going, girl. So Boohoo has kindly partly sponsored this video. They wanted me to do a last minute makeup look so you guys can head over to their website. I had no idea they even did beauty products, but they have such a huge range to do any last minute makeup looks, to do any makeup shopping, and their prices are so good as well. And they actually have their own Boohoo makeup line as well. So I'm gonna be using some of their products in this video. I wanna make my foundation a little bit lighter because Maleficent's skin is so light, but obviously I'm not trying to like change my skin tone completely. Completely. So I'm going to grab their white face paint and I'm going to add a little bit into my foundation. So I'm just using the back of my makeup brush just to scrape a little bit out. Not like that much. And then I'm just going to pop some on the palette. Just like that. And then I'm literally going to mix it all together just so that it has more of a white tint to it. Okay, so I'm just going to paint this on my skin. This foundation is super full coverage so you don't need to use a lot at all. Okay, so I'm going to grab this velvet sponge from a brand called Sunday Ivy. When I saw this on a Boohoo website, I was like, oh my god, is this a dupe for the Juno sponge? It was actually so cheap as well, and I just wetted it, and it's actually so soft, guys. So if you are looking for a Juno sponge, but you can't find anywhere that ships it, definitely look on Boohoo. The Sunday Ivy one is almost identical, and it's so, so soft. Okay, so I'm literally applying the foundation all over my skin. You guys can see it's a bit paler. Obviously, if you want to go full on Maleficent mode, you can actually just paint on like white face makeup. But I'm actually going to go out straight after this, so I'm not about to be looking crazy. <laughs> okay, so foundation is all on. Looking extra flawless, a little bit pale, but it's okay. I'm gonna go in with the Shiseido concealer in the shade 101 Fair. I had no idea Shiseido done concealer, but it's hella light. And that's what I need for this video. So underneath your eyes, Maleficent has a really, really high cheekbone. And if you guys have watched the movie, her skin be looking snatched. So I'm going to make sure that I'm angling this up because I want my cheekbones to literally look like it's lifted. Also, she has a really pointy chin and a really sharp nose as well. So I'm just going to pounce that all out oh my god look at how bright that is yes normally i would never go this bright underneath my eyes but because it's like a last minute halloween tutorial i wanted to show you that you don't need to buy all these crazy face paints and stuff like even the boohoo one is literally only four pounds and you can even use this underneath your eyes really you don't even need to go in like a proper concealer or anything i just find concealers last a bit longer so i'm blending this all the way up to my temple which you guys know i never do but this just like lifts everything and kind of gives you that kind of like <laughs> I'm just gonna put this down, center of my nose, and then keep this point just straight down on my chin here. So now that concealer is blended out, you guys can see almost like the cheekbones are popping. I haven't even done no contour yet. So I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier translucent powder just to set everything, make sure it's all locked into place. Okay, so I'm just gonna literally pop some just underneath my eyes, and then I'm just gonna pounce this all over my skin to make sure everything's all set and locked into place. So for my eyebrows, I'm gonna go in quite dark. I think I'm gonna try to do it with the black face paint. I'm gonna try to point out my brows a bit more diagonal rather than bring it straight down, like my natural, aka my tattooed brows are. <laughs> Basically, this will give you more of a lift, and it also makes your face look a little bit more evil, you know, Maleficent. Ah. So I'm gonna use this brush set from Boohoo. This is the 10 piece rose gold brush set. 
It feels like so, so affordable. And it has like a really, really nice angled brush in there. And then there's also this brush right here, which is perfect for concealing the eyebrows doing cut creases. And it's a really, really nice brush. So what I'm going to do first, before I go straight in with black and it's going to be wonky AF, my little tip is to use this little concealer brush. Get your light concealer and then just pop some on the brush. And then what we're going to do is we're going to kind of map out the shape that we want but use a concealer so that when we apply on the eyebrow product, we're gonna know exactly what line to follow. And concealer is so much easier to blend out than freaking black face paint, do you know what I mean? So I'm kind of like concealing the end of my brow here and I want it to kind of go straight out. So you guys see when I draw in the line, it's gonna go more out. Okay, so now that I've got my brows kind of mapped out, I'm gonna go in with the black face paint from Boohoo. This black face paint is a bit more on the harder side, so that's really good because it means that the product will last for a really long time. Okay, so I'm just gonna fill in my brow and I basically wanna arch the brow as much as I can. I kind of like wing this brow out, if that makes sense. Okay, so I'm literally just doing a wing like that. So Angelina Jolie had like a really high arch so i'm gonna try to emulate that okay so i'm just slowly using the brush and just filling in at the front just so it's gonna fade just a bit more nicer than if it was like a harsh bit at the front oh my god i've got so much more space now that i covered up my eyebrow okay so this is my eyebrow i don't think i'm gonna fill in any straights at the front i'm just gonna leave it to be really nice and ombre because i feel like it's a bit more evil a bit more witchy so i'm gonna quickly do my other eyebrow and then i'll be back Okay, so the eyebrows are on, it looks a bit crazy and a bit dark and I can't believe I have to go out my house like this, but we're gonna make it work. So we're gonna do the bit that literally will just turn everything into Maleficent, which is the cheekbone. So I'm gonna go in with an eyeshadow palette. I got this on at Boohoo Beauty. It's called the Lorac Pro, the bakery box. Okay, so this is what the palette looks like. It's actually such a pretty palette. I kind of wished I was just doing like a normal glam because look how pretty this fucking palette is. So freaking cute. So I'm gonna go in with this shade here called Pudding as my contour shade. Okay, so I'm gonna lightly take off the excess on my hand because I don't want it to be really, really harsh just yet because I'm trying to just map it out. I want this contour to be quite high. So I'm contouring just where the start of my ear starts. Oh my god, this just looks crazy, doesn't it? Normally by now, I'll just go straight across, but I'm kind of angling it down, like a 45 degree angle. And then slowly, when my brush has a bit less product, that's when I'm angling it down, just to hollow out the cheek. Almost like you do like a skeleton look, and that will give you a much higher cheekbone. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna contour this side here, so it basically looks like this bit here is bulging out. So basically, you want your temple to look like it's all hollow here, and then this bit is just like really like, I look crazy. Please give me a thumbs up because I'm actually going out like this straight after. Look how much slimmer this side of my face looks. I literally look like I'm going like this. So I want to pop this cheekbone out even more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a light face powder. I'm going to use vanilla from Too Faced. So what I'm going to do basically is go from on top and I'm going to basically give myself a highlighted cheekbone but with a matte face powder and what this will do this will emphasize this portion even more you don't want to blend out too much because you definitely want it to like really stand out so you almost want to leave it quite harsh but just blend out the edges I'm just gonna put some on my nose as well okay so cheekbones are on i feel like i can literally turn to a skeleton right now and this makeup will still go you know okay so now i'm gonna pop in some contacts i have no idea what brand these are from but they're in the shade called emerald they're literally like bright green like maleficent and i would normally never wear this but it's coming perfect for this makeup look Woo! So I'm Boom. These are my eyes, guys. I feel very Maleficent already. I can't wait to put on the red lip. The difference that contacts makes is just like, wow, you know? So striking. So on the eyes, I'm gonna do a little bit of the white face paint on my lid. This face paint, you can just add water to it if you want it to be a bit more opaque, but I quite like using it dry because I feel like you can build up the color a bit softer. Okay, so I'm literally just swiping the face paint back and forth. So we're gonna go with pudding again. And I basically wanna almost do like a smoky eye on this outer bit but i'm gonna kind of cut the crease so i'm gonna go right inside the crease and blend it into the nose contour so all face into one and i'm kind of going into the top of my brow as well so i'm gonna slowly pull this eyeshadow to go high up onto my brow bone so i kind of pull it up rather than straight out because i want to keep everything really nice and lifted so i just blend out the smoke on both eyes just connect it into my bridge super super easy just one shade blend it up girl so i'm gonna go in with this boohoo pencil brush 
and this has a really nice point to it and I'm just basically gonna slowly carve out my lid a little bit more just so it's a bit more of like a deeper crease I'm gonna go in this shade called granola and I'm gonna tilt my head back and I'm just gonna slowly kind of cut this out a bit more just so that when I open my eyes you, it looks a bit deeper so hopefully you guys can see it just has a deeper kind of line in the crease Okay, so you guys hope to see a difference with that pencil brush. It just kind of carved out a bit more. Okay, so underneath my eyes, I'm going to smoke it out again using this granola shade with a little bit of pudding. And I'm just going to put this on my lower lash line. If you guys also haven't seen Maleficent, oh my god, you have to watch it. It was so good. I would rate it, honestly, like a 9.5 out of 10. Like, when I was sitting in the cinema, I was, like, on the edge of my seat. There were so many things that I was just like, wow. The shade of it all. Michelle Pfeiffer was a bad bitch. She was dashing people. She was stabbing people in the back. Literally. So I'm bringing down the smoke quite low. And I think it just makes it look a bit more evil, you know. Okay, so now it's time for eyeliner now. So I'm going to go over eyeliner that I got on Boohoo. It's from a brand called Sosu. And it's called the Eye Voltage Liner. So this is like a really nice long brush. You can get a really, really fine outline. Oh, it's actually really black as well. Look how fine that liner is. Jesus. Because the nib is so long, you literally just touch it. And it kind of like prints out the eyeliner for you. You want to try to do this eyeliner quite fine because in the movie her liner is not thick or anything but she definitely has eyeliner on. Okay, oh my god, look how thin that line is. Oh yes. Oh, this might be my new favourite eyeliner. Okay. So I'm going to finish off my eyeliner on the other side and stick on my lashes from Lily Lashes called Ella. This is really nice and fluffy. It's not too long, not too crazy, you know? Okay, so the lashes are on. These lashes are literally perfect because they're not too long, but they're long enough so that you can still see it. They're one of my favourite styles from the lashes. If you're looking for something super natural, these are great. Okay, so time for the lips now. I've been so excited to put on this lip. So to line my lips, I'm going to go in Burgundy from MAC. So I'm literally doing like a really sharp lip shape. You also want to kind of fill in your lips halfway as well, just so that there's no harsh line between the lip liner and the lipstick. Okay, so now that I've got the lip liner on, okay, so we're going to go in with the Boohoo lipstick in the shade of Poison Berry. Oh my god, it literally looks like a MAC lipstick. Hey! Hello, dupe! Okay, so I'm going to go put the lipstick directly on. Oh, it's actually really creamy. Oh my god, that shade's lovely. So when I went to the Maleficent screening the other day, they actually had a little booth where you can basically make your own Maleficent haunts, which is so cute. But I have black hair, so I don't think you'll be able to see it much on camera. But we literally just created it there and then. So basically, it's just a little headband with a little ribbon to tie it. We also put some of these fake flowers you can easily get from, like, Poundland or anything. And then these little Maleficent horns are literally just paper cutouts. So you don't have to, like, spend a lot of money on the Maleficent costume because I know what it's like, guys. Like, who wants to spend a lot of money on a costume just for one day you know this is like a really easy way to create the horns yourself at home and then i'm going to quickly do my hair i'm going to leave my hair down because if you guys seen the new maleficent movie she has her hair down and she looks so beautiful in the movie and then yeah i'll show you the guys the final look okay guys so that's it for my last minute maleficent halloween makeup look let me know if you guys enjoyed this video i honestly think this makeup look will suit any halloween look if you're doing like a vampire you're doing like frankenstein's bride i feel like it's just quite a classic generic look that still looks really really sexy cute for photos it's not too hard to do as well it's actually quite simple all you need to do is just get the contouring the dark lip and i feel like the contacts just tie it all in you know i just want to say a huge shout out to boohoo for partially sponsoring this video i literally cannot believe that my youtube channel has picked up so much that i get brands like boohoo wanting to work with me i've been working so hard to grow my youtube channel the fact that i get brands noticing my channel recently i'm just so so grateful i'm gonna leave a link down below to boohoo beauty Beauty. they have so many different brands on there if you're looking for a last minute halloween makeup look it's a perfect place to get an outfit and makeup bits as well so let me know if you guys like this makeup look what are you guys going to be for halloween i'll leave a link down below to everything that i used in today's video and that's it for this one i'll see you in my next one bye guys happy halloween Mwah. Happy